Okay, an object of mass 2 kg is placed 30 cm directly above the top end of a vertical spring as shown in the figure. Yeah? So the spring constant is uh, 2000. Calculate the speed of the object just before striking the spring. Uh, so this is all about conservation of energy. Okay, so um, let me write down. Okay, so here we have a mass. Uh, 30 cm is the, okay, the, the height. And uh, here we have a spring constant, yeah? So we want to find speed, yeah? That means we want to find V, lah. We want to find V. Just before, yeah? Here you can see just before striking the spring, yeah? Just before uh, hitting the spring. So not, not yet striking the spring, yeah? Not yet striking the spring. So we can say uh, the block is finally over here. Okay, but the spring is not compressed yet. Ah, yeah, not for this one. The spring, uh, spring, are uh, not compressed yet. Ah, spring not compressed yet. So that means, uh, the block just arrived to this position. Yeah, the block just arrived to this position without, uh, without compressing the spring. Okay, so uh, uh, very simple. Uh, we just use what from potential energy change to kinetic energy, uh, and this is the uh, change in height. Uh, yeah. So uh, so for the first question, okay, delta U conservation of energy. Yeah, conservation of energy. Uh, change of potential energy equal to change of kinetic energy. So is uh, mg delta H equal to half. Uh, become half, half mv square. Uh, okay, so it become uh, kinetic energy. So the mass actually can cut off. We don't really need the mass. Uh, so the rest is just substitute the value. Yeah, uh, g is 9.81 and then delta h is 30 cm. You need to change to SI unit 0 0.3 meter. Okay, and then uh, 1 over 2 v square. Okay, so calculate the v. Okay, calculate the V. So 9.81 uh, multiply 0.3. Okay, multiply 2. Okay, and then uh, square root answer. Okay, so uh, 2.426 uh, 2.426 uh, meter per second. So is that correct? Yes, that's the answer. Velocity. Okay, for question 1. Okay, now what is the maximum compression x? Ah, so for question two, okay, we want to find the compression, okay, uh, as uh, x, okay. Compression that means uh, uh, now the the block go further down. Ah, uh, the block go further down. It go to uh, maybe this position, okay, with the spring compressed. Uh, with the spring compressed now, yeah. The spring now is compressed. Uh, yeah. Uh, compared to earlier, compared to earlier, uh, the spring is not compressed. Now it go further down. Got compression. So the compression we put as x. Uh, the compression is we put at x. So we need to find the value of x. Uh, this one we need to find what is the value. But the thing is now all the energy, yeah, from the kinetic energy, uh, we now all change to elastic potential energy. So at this point, at this point, the kinetic energy already become zero. Uh, so hold on a second. Let me uh, throw this all. Okay, so from here we know kinetic energy becomes zero finally, yeah, because uh, the block stopped already, yeah. The the velocity now becomes zero, so kinetic energy now becomes zero. No more kinetic energy because all the energy has stored as elastic potential energy at maximum compression. At maximum compression, the block stop moving already. Yeah, the block stop moving, velocity zero, so kinetic energy is zero. So all energy is in the form of uh, all energy, all energy now in the form of elastic potential energy. Uh, okay.
all in the form of elastic potential energy. So how to get this elastic potential energy? Uh, so we can, what's the difference in height? Uh, the difference is height is not just 30 cm anymore. It's not just 30 cm. It's 30 cm plus x. Uh, so our new delta h now, our new delta h now is, uh, put this delta h prime, okay, uh, is uh, 30 cm, uh, or put a zero, uh, okay lah, uh, 30 cm plus x already. Understand? Ah. So last time is gravitational potential energy. Now uh, it has changed to, you know, the elastic potential energy. Okay, let's do it for question two. Okay, for question two. So, uh, okay, just want to change the position a bit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now, I want to do for question two. So now this one is uh, using change of uh, gravitational potential energy all totally convert to elastic potential energy no kinetic energy yeah because the block now has um, the block has now uh, you know the block is not move stop moving really so no more kinetic energy yeah so all the potential energy change to all the gravitational potential energy of the block now change to elastic potential energy stop in the spring uh, because got uh, maximum compression okay so uh, this one we put mg delta h and then this one is half kx square ah okay elastic potential energy so okay what's the mass uh what is the mass two kilogram okay two two kilogram and then 9.81 okay delta h Delta H, we don't put just 30 cm, huh? it's 30 cm plus X. Uh, because now you go, the block go further in, because got compression. Yeah, got compression, further in, so got uh, X. So the de Delta H, this is Delta H prime, huh? the, uh, Delta H prime. So it's 30 cm plus X, uh, 30 cm plus X. Change to meter, so it's 0 0.3 meter. 0 0.3 meter plus x ah okay equal to half k k is what k is 2000 uh x okay uh so i got it so now uh okay so you need to uh you know uh do some calculation a bit so uh, 2 multiply 9.81 Multiply point three, so I get this one, uh, five point eight eight six plus um, a. Let me calculate this one, and I get so nineteen point uh six two x equal to this one is one thousand uh one thousand x square or oh, this one was um. Okay, never mind. So, x square uh, minus 19.62x and minus 5.886 equal to 0. So, I, this one I need to do use calculator and solve it. Okay, uh, let me try and see. So, okay, solve equation and then uh, x square x. Okay, so it's number three, so I got 1000, and B is negative 19.62, and then C is um, a negative 5.886. Okay, so okay, so what's the answer? Okay, I got X, uh, oops, sorry, what is this? Uh, X1 equal to um. 0 0.087 and then x2 is uh x2 is a negative 0 0.067 okay which is uh which 68 sorry 68 uh but this one should be ignored 
Okay, this one because negative value which is impossible. Okay, uh, meter, yeah, meter. So this one, in, in this one ignored. Okay, this one ignored because got negative value. Yeah. So the answer is this. It's supposed to be this. Okay. So is that correct? Let me check. Yeah, eight point seven exponent negative two. Uh, this one zero point zero eight uh, seven. So correct, okay, it's correct. So that's the that's the answer and velocity just now also correct. Okay, that's how we do the question. Okay, just conservation of energy. All right, uh, just uh, be careful. The first one is delta H only. Okay, the first one is just uh, delta H because you are at this position. And then for uh, the question B, the question B is, uh, 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 the, uh, sorry, just now uh, for question A, let me, okay, again, again, just now for, um, for question number one is 0 0.3 meter only, yeah, 0 0.3 meter only because at this position only, but for, um, for second, second uh, situation, it is uh, uh, from here up to this position, so it's uh, 0 point, it's 30 cm plus x. Yeah, it's 30 cm plus x at this position. So that's 0 0.3 plus x. So that's the difference between uh, question 1 and 2. Yeah, and the first one is uh, kinetic energy. And this one, uh, we change to elastic potential energy. So that's the difference, okay, between 1 and 2. Okay, that's all. Bye.